ओके सॉलिड सर्कुलर सर्कुलर शाफ्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एम डायमीटर इज ट्रांसमिटिंग वन ट्वेंटी किलो वैट एट वन फिफ्टी रिवोल्यूशन पर मिनट टू स्टॉप फाइन द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ शेयर स्ट्रेस इन द शाफ्ट ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट ऑन द डायमीटर ऑफ द शाफ्ट इट इज गिवन डी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एम एम डी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एम एम ओके देन पावर इट इज गिवन पी इज इक्वल टू पी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी किलो वैट वन ट्वेंटी किलो वैट ओके देन एन इज इक्वल टू एन इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी आर पी एम वन फिफ्टी आर पी एम ओके रिवोल्यूशन पर मिनट एंड फाइंड आउट द शेयर स्ट्रेस शेयर स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू क्वेश्चन मार्क शेयर स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू क्वेश्चन मार्क ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पावर ट्रांसमिटिंग इक्वेशन पावर ट्रांसमिटिंग यू नो दैट पावर ट्रांसमिटिंग इक्वेशन इट इज पी इज इक्वल टू पी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई एन टी डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी टू इन टू पाई एन टी डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी 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 ओके सो पी इट इज गिवन किलो वैट टू टॉल दिस वैल्यू पी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी इन टू देन टू इन टू टू इन टू फाइव इन टू तो एन इट इज वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी रोलेशन पर टी इट इज अनोन टी इट इज अनोन इट इज गेट इन किलो न्यूट्रन मीटर ओके इफ इट इज पावर इट इज इन किलो वैट तो टी इट विल बी इन किलो न्यूट्रन मीटर ओके सिक्सटी नाउ T is equal to from this equation it will be T is equal to so 120 into in terms of T it will be get 2 into 6 pi into 150 divided by 60 so 15.70 15.70 in terms of T so T is equal to T is equal to it will be get One twenty divided by fifteen point seven zero seven. It will be seven point six three. Seven point six three. Seven point six three nine kilo newton meter. Kilo newton meter. Okay. So convert it into newton mm. Okay. That is means seven point six three nine into ten raised to the power six. Ten raised to the power six. It is in newton mm. Newton mm. So now, torsion equation. I done the torsion equation. Torsion equation in terms of in terms of shear stress. So T divided by I P. T divided by I P. T divided by I P. T divided by I P is equal to F S divided by R. Is equal to F S divided by R. Fs divided by R. Fs divided by R. Divided by R. Okay. R. So I P is equal to this I X X plus I Y Y. So lower moment of inertia is equal to I X X plus I Y Y. So I X X is equal to for that it is pi d raised to four divided by sixty four for circular section. Pi d raised to four divided by sixty four plus pi d raised to four divided by sixty four. I did it four divided by sixty four. Sixty four plus plus I did it four plus I did it four divided by sixty four divided by divided by sixty four. So I X is equal to I I Y it is pi d raised to four divided by sixty four. It will be get pi d raised to four divided by thirty two. Pi d raised to four divided by thirty two. Thirty two. Addition of these two, it will be get pi d raised to four divided by thirty two. Okay. This one it is polar moment of inertia for circular section. Okay. This. Okay. So now write down. Put all these values here. In torsion equation, so R is equal to it is 
r is equal to this d by 2 r is equal to this d by 2 okay so t divided by t divided by okay so t divided by ip ip it is pi d raised to 4 divided by 32 pi d raised to 4 divided by 32 pi d raised to 4 divided by 32 32 32 is equal to fs fs divided by r it is d by 2 r it is d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 okay so we need to calculate fs value okay so fs shear stress is equal to shear stress is equal to so 32 t 32 t 32 t divided by divided by divided by pi d raised to 4 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 into 2 by d into 2 by d 2 by d okay 2 by d so to we get so 32 d raised to 5 so put all these value here sorry d by 2 to becomes this side so d by 2 it will be when come this side it will be d by 2 becomes d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 okay d by 2 so it will be d and this it will be get d q d q d q and this one two one the two 16 to the 32 into the 32 you will get final equation from this final equation so fs is equal to shear stress fs is equal to 16 t 16 t divided by pi dq 16 t divided by pi dq 16 t divided by pi into pi into dq in divided by pi into dq so this one it is shear stress equation okay 16 t divided by pi dq put all these value here fs is equal to so 16 t it is in kilo newton newton mm that is 7.639 into 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 in newton mm divided by divided by pi into pi into pi into d cube d it is 100 cube 100 cube so you get shear stress from this equation okay you get shear stress from this equation fs is equal to write down now fs is equal to so 16 into 16 into 7.639 into 10 to the power 6 divided by pi into d cube so 100 cube okay so this is 38.907 38.907 mpa or newton per mm square newton per mm square or mpa so this is shear stress for the power 120 kilo newton at 150 revolution per meter okay when the diameter it is 100 mm 